the robots are so sophisticated, you know, connecting over custom Wi-Fi networks, and a lot needs to fall into place to go correct uh, to get this match started. Looks like we got all the robots connected. You guys want to go back to the field? I think we'll pass it to uh, our MC Christopher Dine and our game announcer and uh, see what happens.
minutes in. Right. Wow, great. That was an incredible match. We, we had to wait and pause a little bit before coming back on the air to uh, kind of catch our breaths from yeah. that one. Now we're still waiting on the final score. We're not sure who won it. There could be a last-minute penalty there. Yeah, it looks um, like the referees are huddled up uh, trying to make sure that uh, scoring is fair and, and penalties are fairly called. But if we were to believe the real-time scoring, it looks like Blue made a trust with about 12 trust, seconds yeah. left, and uh, that put them in the lead. One, so 118 knew that they needed their trust to, to, to get over it, and they were trying to get forth, but double defense from the Blue Alliance. Yeah. They were not letting them get forward. Yeah. Um, what's really great about that alliance is on the blue side is all three robots are great players. And the pass yeah. between the Lady Cans to Jersey Vultures is incredible. It's yeah. so fast. It's Very in solid. it's in the middle of the field, and the ball never even touches the ground. I mean, it literally just passes straight from the, the Lady Cans right into Jersey Vultures, never touches the ground. Jersey Vultures has it for about three or four seconds. They turn around, they score it every time. Yeah. Under defense, too. Yeah, they, that was what impressed me. They, they didn't really see a whole lot of defense during the qualifying or even their first quarterfinals. Um, and this match, Jersey, I'm talking about Jersey Voltage on the blue lines. They, oh, oh, looks like we have a score. It's an upset. 